good Friday morning. It is uh, the 19th of June. It's about 20 till 11 a.m. Got out of work this morning, rushed home, took a shower, got cleaned up, had to go, had to go get our taxes done finally, me and dad. So, uh, good news and bad news out of that deal. Which do you want first, the good news or the bad news? What was that? Okay, the good news. Well, the good news is I don't owe the government any money. I'm actually getting a, a little bit back. The bad news is, just found out this morning from the tax guy that uh, the tractor pulls, the national championships, NTPA national championship tractor pulls in Bowling Green, which I work on the fire and safety crew there too, they've been canceled. So. That kind of stinks. I don't know what you can do about it, though. So, uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna go home and take a nap for a couple hours. So work actually canceled Saturday, so I'm done for the weekend. So I'm gonna go home and take a nap for a couple hours. Get up, eat some lunch, and then, uh, I'm going to head back over to Dad's and get back into side dressing, corn. Knock a big chunk of that out yet today. Hopefully finish it up tomorrow. So, uh, I'm heading home. Dropped him off, dropped my sister off. Did a little road farming over by, well, almost the Signet and stuff. Tax man's over that way. Seen some good crops. Seen some, seen some thigh high corn, just as green as could be. Seen some other fields that look worse than ours. Same with the beans. I seen some, some. Uh, I think there were 10 inch row beans that were actually canopied, and then there was other ones that the whole field wasn't up yet. So I don't feel so bad about it. The way ours look. We need, like I said, I know, broken record. Farmers always want something, yeah. Well, I want a rain. So, there's a chance today. Slight chance today. There's a slight chance for the next three or four days. So, hopefully we'll get something. We're going to have one little cloud right there. Through the window. Great big old blue sky. One little cloud back there. So, anyway, I'm going to shut this off and... home kick back in the lazy boy chair for a couple hours otherwise I'll be a zombie tonight so uh yeah we'll catch up with you later today I hope everybody's having a great day and uh good start to the weekend and I think Sunday's Father's Day so yeah happy pre-Father's Day to all them fathers and grandfathers out there so uh we'll talk to you in a little bit I'll be back well it's uh quarter after one in the afternoon blue skies blue skies blue skies one dark cloud and it's sprinkling here let me turn this around can you see the gray let me try this uh, that made it worse didn't it huh. so there's a it's sprinkling right now There goes life flight. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, so it's it's sprinkling out, but you can see clear. I can see the gray between them two little pieces of woods there. That it's sprinkling there. We got a heck of a little shower coming. You can see the rain shaft coming out of the cloud and everything. <laughs> little narrow. Anyway, I started walking out here to close the door. Three minutes ago, I walked out to get a Powerade out of the uh, refrigerator in the garage, and and uh, yeah, so this is crazy. Let me see if I can zoom this. There we go. Yeah, you can see the the gray. 
Oh, that thing really zooms in. Okay. Now I can't unzoom it. Okay, there I go. Oops. Whew. Whoa. Whoa. Easy trigger. Come on this way. Come on this way. Park right over top of me for hours. Huh. That's crazy. Blue skies. Blue skies. Well, they said isolated showers, so I guess that's pretty isolated. Is it going to make it? Yeah, this is... There's the edge of... <coughs> oh, bless me. But yeah, blue skies. Yeah, up here to the north, northwest, it looks like it let up. Yeah, it's still a little bit up there, but this one here, boy, oh boy, look over right there. It looks like it's going to, well, I don't know, there's about due east. Well, it's not quite due east, but, or west, excuse me. Go west, young man. Hmm. Raining when the sun's out, there should be a rainbow somewhere. Maybe there's a pot of gold. Gotta find it. That'd be nice one. That, of course, It'd be like winning a lottery. Make your life miserable. Everybody and their brother would know you and come out of that closet looking for money. I don't know. It's getting darker over there. All right, well. Yeah, I just thought that would be pretty neat to see on video. Boy, that one's coming. Hmm. Might as well put my swimming trunks on real quick and stand out here and get rained on. Yeah. Of course, I do have shorts on. Look at that. So... <laughs> She's rolling her eyes at me. What's the matter, honey? All I heard was short. <laughs> oh, I didn't think anybody was watching. Oh, wait. What am I doing? You guys are watching. All right. Well, toodles. Toodaloo. All right. Well, it's about three minutes. And it's really... It's really, that's, uh, I don't know if you can see that house right between them, framed with them telephone pole wires. That's a mile away. So, got a nice breeze. It's 83 out. It's muggy. Hot. But yeah, this is, it almost sounds like thunder way off in the distance, but I don't think it is. Because it's not a thunderstorm, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. It's coming right across my cornfield. Boy, that would be great. Anything would help. Actually, it looks like it's going south. My brother's getting a nice drink of water. The beans over there, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, check back in. Well, it's been about ten minutes, and I got a couple sprinkles, and there it is. Yet, it's. Looks like it's moving about straight south. 
from what I can tell, down around Rollersville, they're getting hammered right now. Dad, I just got off the phone with Dad, and he says, yeah, it rained cats and dogs over here. Not very long, but there's puddles in the driveway and everything else. He says it's too wet to go over there and side dress. I said, well, we'll come over here then. He said, what do you mean? I said, we didn't get nothing here. Got a few sprinkles, didn't even wet the sidewalk. So, unless the wind changes, that's going south. But it's just hanging right there. Hopefully Mark got a nice drink. My, uh, let's see, where's the power lines? Okay, so just to the left side of the power lines there, you can see a brick house. That's my brother's. And then Dad lives three quarters of a mile uh, due west, which would put him right over there. So, yeah, I mean, it's... You can usually see there's a little woods on the other side of this one, right in that gap. You can usually see, and you can just barely see the silhouette of it. So it's kind of trucking south and kind of hanging right there and then moving slowly south, I guess. All right. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get nothing out of this one. Hopefully it comes again later. All right, well, it's uh, 2.30, and I drove over here to Dad's, and uh, lo and behold, there's water standing out here. Roads are wet. I don't know. Other than where the water's standing, I think this will go. Doesn't seem like it's sticking to my boots. Hmm. Yeah, crazy. About a mile and a half back the road is when it got wet. Well, just a little bit more than a mile, mile and a quarter. But yeah, the ground's definitely dark. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll go up and talk to him. See what's what. We can change the pump settings on it and go to my house. I don't know. I'll let you know. Hey, I drove down here into the field. Butts up against the neighbor's beans and walked out in there and yeah, it's sticking to my shoes. So, if we're gonna do anything, we're gonna have to uh, back up and head to my house. So I guess that's what we'll do. I'm glad it got rain over here. Just wish I'd have got a little bit too, but oh well. Well, uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, had an executive meeting, me and Dad, and it's like I said, it's just a little too tacky there, so we bump the gallons down to 40, and we're gonna head over to my house. And see if we can run over there. Oh, I know we can because we didn't get a drop. So catch up with you when we get over there well all right we got 900 gallons in it back there I'm gonna uh, here around the corner and get that little nine acre field over there first and then go hit the big field in the middle sorry about that then go hit the big field in the middle because I have to fill up so I'll be uh, over there on the lane where dad can just bring the shuttle back we can fill right on the edge of the field. A little short field. About the time you get settled in, you end up turning around again. So probably won't do no bidding. I didn't. Uh, I didn't grab my uh, my suction cup holder for this thing either. So yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna shut her off, and we'll talk to you later. Well, I made one round, and I pulled. Uh, one of the spaces out trying to get her to go a little deeper. I got a little bit out of it, but not as much as I want. This ground is hard. Hard, hard, hard. She's rough. Clods aren't even breaking up as I'm driving over them hard, but I don't think they are. Going slower. Alright. 
Talk to you later. We'll get her figured out. Well, all right. Done with that little patch. That is some sad looking corn, I'm afraid to say. Probably just wasted a bunch of my. I know I sound like a broken record, and I'm sorry, but if we get a shot of rain on it, it might look a little better. There might still be something in there that'll come up. But it's hard. I had to take, well, I had to take a spacer out to try and get it to drop down farther, and it barely did any good. It was actually trying to pick the back of the tractor up. So, and it needs cultivated because the weeds are bad because the spray didn't work right because we didn't get no rain after the spray or we got too much rain or I don't know what it was. But there's a lot of thistles and some dandelions and some grass. So I'm going to try after I get done with this side dress and stuff. Try and get the, try and get the old six-row cultivator hooked up. See if I can't scratch some of them weeds. Get rid of some of them anyway. They're drinking all the moisture that the corn needs. So I'm gonna run up here to the house. I gotta put some fuel in her. She's getting low. I wish I didn't need that before I started. Then I'll head back to that uh, 23 acre field in the middle and see if we can get that knocked out today. Not a problem there. Two or three hours, I'll be across that. Well, that's where we're at for now. It's uh, about five after four. Talk to you on the next one. A little clip. While I'm driving back the lane here to this one, let me tell you. Look at that corn. It's all shriveled and rolled up. I mean, she's hurting for moisture. She's trying to protect herself from the sun. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and throw a bunch of money at it anyway. All right, everybody. About 20 after 5 on a Friday evening. Had come out a couple of rounds ago, brought that nurse tank out. We topped the applicator back off. Well, not topped off, with 900 gallons in it. And uh, like I said, I've made a few rounds since then. Weeds are terrible in this field. I'm going to, I know I said it before, I'm going to have to get the cultivator in here, I think. I'm going to try it. But anyway, it looks like I got about. Oh, five, six rounds left. I said something to Dad. I said we're going to run over to Woodville. Any? No, I think we'll just we'll just call it a night after this. I'm thinking we probably could go back to his house and finish that field back there, or do that other field. So if we get done here. I'll, we'll go for a ride and uh, see what that looks like. If it's still good, then we'll head over there and get that done tonight. Go from there. I'll let you know.